In today's video, we're going to be talking about financial preparation, not just with silver and gold, but other assets as well. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the Precious Metals VIP Club. It ends on December 1st. Join before then if you want to get entered. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and gold and how they are what I like to consider financial preparation. But we're going to run through other ways of financially preparing yourself as well. We're going to get into it really quick just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Use promo code BLACK for a 15% discount. Sale ends today. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble. The link will be in the description. So today, as I'm filming the video, it's Wednesday, but this video is going to be coming out on Friday, so that means I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time the video drops, so head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So if you're watching this video, you probably understand the power of precious metals and the importance of prepping. In this case, financial prepping. I think many of us can agree that stacking silver and gold could be a great way to diversify, but today I want to talk about some other methods as well. Building yourself a financial preparation system that can help you cover most, if not all, bases. We'll be running through quick cash currency for emergency purposes, ways of saving money on your necessary purchases, building cash flow producing assets, and of course, using silver and gold to help hedge against the inevitable inflation. So first things first. I want to talk about this very, very fast because I talk about it quite a bit, having a cash position. There's a lot of people out there who will say, don't have cash, don't save cash, don't stack cash. You got to have cash. In business, we call this business continuity. If something goes wrong, you'll have the funds, you'll have the finances, you'll have the resources to hopefully take care of whatever the issue is at hand. In this situation, we can call it life continuity. You got to have a little bit of cash. I do not believe in stacking cash for the long term, but during short term emergencies, it can be absolutely crucial because in a situation, you're not going to want to sell what you have. You're not going to want to sell your silver, sell your gold, sell your stock, sell your real estate to take care of some type of emergency. Why would you sell something for cash when you can just have a little bit of cash without having to sell anything at all? So that's personally how I view cash. It's a short-term solution for short-term problems. Not here for the long-term, but it's necessary to carry for the short-term, especially if you're pre preparing yourself for maybe a two-month or a three-month or a six-month emergency and you want to have some cash set aside just in case something goes wrong, you got to have cash. Next up is something that I know is going to be a little bit controversial, which is exactly why I want to say it. We need to think and talk about things we don't always think and talk about. Credit. A little over four years ago, I learned the importance and how beneficial good credit can be. For example, a credit score of 760 and up can get you the lowest possible interest rates. So if someone with not so good credit and I were both buying pretty much the same house, like right next door to each other, same size, same everything, same backyard, same price, everything's the same, and we make the same down payment, by the time both of our houses are paid off, I will have paid thousands of dollars less because of that lower interest rate. A lot of people don't think about this. And even though I have not bought a house just yet and I'm not paying a mortgage, in the meantime, I've been using all of my credit cards to save money on the purchases I already need to make anyway. For example, I have a credit card that gives me 2% cash back on absolutely everything. So if you were to use that to pay your $1,000 a month rent, Boom, you save $240 a year. I have another car that gives me 5% back on groceries. So if you use that to buy $500 worth of food for your family every month, boom, you save $300 a year. This is what I've been doing for the last couple of years, or mainly the last 18 months, and I've saved hundreds, if not thousands of dollars by doing so. Again, by purchasing things I need to purchase anyway. By the way, without ever carrying a balance, and paying a grand total of zero dollars and zero zero cents worth of interest while simultaneously building my credit. And now I'm in the 770 and up club. And when I'm ready to buy a house, I'll be paying bare minimum in interest. 
Credit cards can save you a stupid amount of money. And I know that there are a lot of people out there who say, oh, having good credit's not going to do anything when the world's falling apart. Okay, true. Absolutely correct. But guess what? Good credit is also not going to hurt you when the world is falling apart. So why not save money now and stack with the cash that you save or invest with the cash that you save? Just my opinion. Next up, generating cash flow. This can be done a bunch of different ways. For example, if you want to make, I don't know, let's just say a an extra $100 a month passively, which I know doesn't sound like very much, but it's a start, and you can work your way up from there. You can do this by selling $1,000 worth of product for a 10% commission. You can, little by little, invest $24,000 into an asset with a 5% dividend yield. You can partner up with nine other people and buy a rental property and charge a thousand dollars a month rent and split that between the 10 of you there are a lot of ways you can do this and it might sound pretty brutal or at least it might be pretty brutal getting your feet off the ground i know it's one thousand percent easier said than done but hey during recessions when the government tries to take your active income away like in 2020 at least you'll know you still have a little bit of passive income coming your way and now last but not least Assets that have the potential of successfully combating inflation, a.k.a. the silver and the gold, what we've all been waiting for. The silver and the gold is my favorite piece of the multifaceted financial preparation system puzzle. And it's for a couple of different reasons. One of the main reasons is because we can see tons of capital appreciation over an extended period of time, because I personally believe silver and gold are both going up. I think gold will go up slowly but surely, and I think silver has the potential to give us some explosive growth. That's what I believe. I could end up being wrong, but I personally believe that both metals will move in an upper direction. Gold in a much more stable way, silver in a much more volatile way, but I do believe they are both going to continue seeing this upward trajectory. Not only capital appreciation, but remember how I said before the cash can be somewhat of a short-term solution to a sh short-term problem? Well, I think the silver and gold are the closest thing we have to a long-term solution to the long-term problem. What is the long-term problem at hand? Inflation. I had mentioned late last year and early this year that 20% of the currency that has ever existed was printed just last year. Fast forward a couple of months to present day, come to find out we're actually closer to 40% at this point. Is that not horrifying? That, to me, is like a nightmare come true. 40% of the cash, of the currency, of the dollar bills that have ever been in existence Keep in mind, a lot of them don't even technically exist because they were digitally created, but still, same thing applies. 40% of the currency was created within the last, I don't know, 18 to 24 months. That's horrifying. That's inflation waiting to happen, and we saw it in the October 2021 inflation report, which we got earlier this month, I, I want to say on November 5th, because we get it the first week of the following month. We just got last month's inflation report. We saw the numbers. We saw that it's really bad, and it's not just because of one or two or a small number of select things. It's the entire report. Everything is up. And not only is everything up, but everything is way up. And guess what? Next month, early December, when we get the November 2021 inflation report, I'm willing to bet it won't be much better. It's probably going to be just as bad, potentially worse. Inflation's a problem. Inflation is something that not a lot of people think about. And yes, a lot of people are stacking the silver and gold as a hedging get against inflation, but not a lot of people really deep dive into it and crunch the numbers and actually really analyze and, and, and go through and sort through and highlight the little itty bitty details of these monthly inflation reports. Not a lot of people pay attention to the small details, but I do. And every time I go through the details, it gives me more and more and more reassurance that I'm doing exactly what I should be doing, stacking silver and gold to hopefully help combat inflation. 
I had mentioned in an earlier video, I don't remember if it was yesterday's or the days before, I'm filming a bunch of videos today, I don't remember which one's which, but I had mentioned that, of course, silver and gold are not guaranteed to go up, but the dollar bill is absolutely guaranteed to go down. See, with silver and gold over here, almost everything that you see on screen, I believe we are going to see plenty of green, especially if you give it enough time. I think we're on the way up, and I think we're going to continue being on the way up with, of course, some dips and pullbacks and corrections along the way, but I think we're going to see an overall upward trajectory. I don't know that to be a fact. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a psychic. I have no idea. I'm speculating, but based on a whole long list of factors, I think we have far more reasons to go up than down. But still, I can't predict the future. But I know we have a chance of going up. The dollar bill, unfortunately, does not have that same chance. The dollar bill cannot go up. The dollar bill can't even stay where it's at. The only thing the dollar bill can do is go down. That's the horrifying reality, and that's exactly why I started stacking silver and gold a couple of years back. So hopefully this video, I, I like to think that I articulated my thoughts in an effective way and covered a variety of different bases, saving money on things that you need to spend your money on anyway, having a little bit of a cash position, having cash flow producing assets, which by the way, you can use as silver and gold flow producing assets because you can use that cash flow to get silver and gold. And of course, the silver and gold to hopefully combat inflation. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. I'm not a financial advisor. I was kind of just thinking out loud in today's video, but let me know if you learned anything. Let me know if it opened your eyes or, or gave you any ideas. I'd be more than happy to talk about really anything related to finance in the comment section, whether it be real estate, whether it be stocks, whether it be business, or of course, whether it be precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Make sure to use promo code BLACK for a 15% discount. Sale ends today because it's Black Friday. Of course, we have the consistency is key design. We have the Mama Didn't Raise No Karen design. We got the Lone Wolf design. We got the Kraken stacking design and a bunch of other designs as well. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Do not forget, use promo code BLACK. Get the 15% discount. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble. The link will be in the description. If you refer three friends before the end of the month, only got a couple of days, so move quick. They will give you a free share of Apple worth over $150 right now. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on the overall topic of today's video? Building yourself a multifaceted financial preparation system for yourself and your family and your future. Covering most bases or covering all bases if possible. Not putting all your eggs in one basket, not putting all your eggs in two or three baskets, but having as many baskets as possible. That way, if something were to go wrong or, or something happens over here, you should probably still be in pretty good shape. 
head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.